Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Um, it has been a little while since I've been able to make a new video, so um, apologies for that. But last year was absolutely crazy and some really cool, exciting stuff. So um, most exciting thing being that I was the look development lead for a leader battle angel at uh, Rising Sun Pictures. So that was cool. Uh, we got to work really closely with Weta Digital, uh, working on the training room environment and the moon surface environment, both made in Substance Painter and Designer. And also something I've been wanting to show for a while was I created a Hero Digi Double for Lara in Tomb Raider, which was awesome, awesome to do and really push myself as an artist to, to get something that looks photographic. So. So yeah, it was really fun being the lead on that show as well. So um, yeah, some pretty exciting stuff. Um, anyway, I haven't been able to make any new videos for you guys because I've been getting heaps of crashes uh, with my GTX 970 and it's documented on Allegrythmic's website that there's some uh, memory bandwidth issues uh, with that particular card and it also doesn't support sparse virtual texture acceleration so um, I finally uh, sprung out and got myself a new GPU. enough hardware porn let's get on with it so um so these are the two cards together the the 2070 is a behemoth of a card is it's massive i thought the g1 was massive so this is going into my workstation which is an amd threadripper 1950x 32 gig of ram um full mvme drives all the way and yeah it looks Pretty cool when it's all lit up and installed. So um, let's jump over to Substance Designer and let's test some of the bake times because Substance Designer is RTX accelerated. So I've got a character I'm working on here that's got 10 UDIMs and we're gonna bake out just some standard data maps um, and compare it against the 970. So. So I'm just going to set the texture resolution to 4K, EXR, um, 2x2, subsampling, and here we can see all the data maps that are going to be baked. So um, here's the geometry back here, and yep, we'll, I will bring up a timer so that we can see how long it's taking. Um, you can see there goes the first tile. So you can see it's sort of like one bucket, I guess, that's working on that image at the moment. Um, so what we'll do is we'll we'll fast forward this about 2000 times and we'll see how long it took at the end. Cool, so the GTX 970 comes in at 9 minutes 36 seconds. Cool, so let's jump over to the RTX 2070 and let's see what sort of benefit the, um, the new GPU gives us on bake times. So here we can see I've got the exact same setup as before, all the same settings, 4K, 2x2 subsampling, EXR, and uh, yeah, we'll bring up the timer and try again. So I'll apply the same speed up that I did on the previous run and we'll see what time we get. Cool, 
Cool. Two minutes, 40 seconds. That's, that's massive. But, um, okay, so that's cool. So design is RTX accelerated, but I know that painter is not, but let's, let's fire up substance painter. I've got a project here, the digital Emily project that I've demoed in one of my other videos. And we'll see how it goes with just general everyday performance. So we'll look at uh, load times and um, how it affects instancing and um, creating viewport shadows and that sort of thing. So um, the GTX 970 at the moment's loading all the texture set. You can see down the bottom, the bar is still loading. And um, after that, it will kick the viewport in, start to resolve the shadows. Alrighty, cool. So now that all the textures have loaded, the viewport's starting to resolve the shadows. Um, so I think we're going to look about 55 seconds, 53 seconds to resolve. Cool. Um, so viewport performance, you can see I've got the frame counter down the very bottom left-hand corner, which is sort of not super accurate, but at least it will give you some kind of idea of the, the frame rate that we're getting. So you can see that the shadows take quite a while to resolve, but when they're resolved, like uh, the viewport looks pretty good really, um, but it does take some time. So it'll be interesting to see how the RTX 2070 handles that um, because that would just be like raw GPU compute performance at that point without just ray tracing being in the picture. So let's jump over to the, um, the RTX card and we'll see how that performs. Cool, so we're loading up the same project and we'll compare the, the times and see if the GPU has any impact on, on the load time. Well, it certainly loaded the textures a lot faster. <laughs> that was a blink of an eye. Um, the shadows are resolving at the moment and yeah, it's a fair bit quicker. So yeah, I'm gonna call that resolved. So 25 seconds to about 55 seconds to open the project and resolve. So yeah, the, the GPU is definitely making an improvement um, on the load time. I'm going to try another test now, which is um, a character I'm working on. Uh, it's like a bandage wrap mask. Uh, it's kind of like a Silent Hill Resident Evil style character. And um, this is a 4K single UDIM um, with some fairly basic layers and there's not really too much happening just yet. Um, so I'm still kind of just blocking stuff out, but performance wise, um, yeah, we're pretty good on the 970 still like you can see frame rate's pretty good. And I know like working with this asset, um, I haven't really hit any hiccups, um, just kind of random crashes with the, the 970, but for the most part, it's all right. So let's jump over to the RTX and check the load time and viewport performance. All right. So roughly about the same time, maybe a couple of seconds quicker. My testing mythology is not like super accurate, obviously. <laughs> I'm just kind of getting rough numbers here. But um, yeah, it was a teeny bit quicker. Um, viewport frame rate is a lot higher, um, which is to be expected. I guess it's like two generations forward from the 970. So even the ray tracing thing not coming into it, it's still like a pretty, um, pretty beefy card and yeah, it seems, seems like it's going to be pretty good for Substance Painter and even better if they get um, ray tracing support in the Baker, which I'm sure is just a matter of time for them. So, so we'll do one more test um, and this is the body of that character. And this has all the bells and whistles enabled in the viewport, depth of field, subsurface scattering, all that fun stuff. And on the 970, it takes about 15 seconds to load. So it's really not too bad. It's got 12 UDIMs, 13 UDIMs. Um, all the skin's just all procedural at the moment. There's no like hand paint just yet. So, but we can see the viewport performance is like suffering a fair bit, um, especially with all the bells and whistles on there, which you, know, you wouldn't have on when you're working anyway, but um, it's just interesting to test. So. 
you can see like interactively things are still like moving around it's not like unworkable or anything um but yeah let's let's turn all that stuff off and yeah the viewport performance is still sort of you can see the frame counter it's it's sort of like getting into you know 10 to 15 frames a second um which is it's still workable but it, it's yeah it's on the edge um i guess you can see subsurface scattering's turned on you can see it around the ear and stuff and it's good enough to see what's happening um but yeah, it'd be really interesting to see how the um, RTX card stacks up on something a little bit more complicated like this. So um, I've got a, a layer that I deliberately left off. So let's turn this on and we'll see how long it takes for it to kick in. Um, so th these layers are instance across all the UDIMs. Um, so you can see down the bottom, it's taking a little bit of time. getting there all right so yeah so it's like a dirt mud sort of layer um doesn't really affect the frames per second too much but it definitely takes a little while to uh enable that folder and have it instance out across all the UDIM. so um so let's jump over to the rtx card now and we'll do the same test see how we go so load time. Okay, so the load time was a little bit quicker, about two seconds faster. So it's not too bad, but a little bit of an improvement. You can see the frames per seconds kind of massively improved. We've still got all the same settings and everything at 2K. So uh, let's go ahead and turn off all the post-processing stuff and um, we'll check that other layer again so, yep yeah so it's a fair bit quicker and a lot more responsive in the viewport so that's really good shadows resolve very quickly which is good let's turn this layer back on just while that's caching up, I should mention that I'm using Substance Painter 2018.3.2 to do all these tests. Cool. So yeah, that was definitely faster to turn that layer um, on. So yeah, it's good. I think we've, we're seeing a pretty consistent uh, performance boost overall. So I guess the verdict of this video is, um, is an RTX card worth investing in if you're mainly using Substance Painter and Designer. Um, yes, I guess. Definitely for designer, we saw a massive speed improvement there for texture baking. And if they release RTX support for um, Painter, then most definitely yes. So um, yeah, good job NVIDIA. Cool, so I've got one last test to show you guys, um, which is just a basic Unreal Engine setup because now Unreal has released their update for RTX support. Um, so yeah, I've built a Cornell box um, just with a single area light. Um, you can see the, the denoises <laughs> trying to get rid of all the um, you know, soft shadows and stuff. But it's pretty cool to be able to see like you know, these reflections um, without those sort of reflection issues that you hit in Unreal Engine. Um, and the lighting's really nice. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty interesting. Um, so I'll just play this little cinematic that I've made. Uh, performance is pretty good. Um, definitely like good enough just to tinker around with. I don't really do a lot in Unreal Engine just yet. I'm still sort of learning it. Um, but yeah, it seems, seems pretty good. There are some issues with the denoising and sort of like ghosting, which is which is weird when you move things around. I've noticed the denoiser definitely takes a good like second or two to um, apply. So if you've got an object moving through a scene, um, it's very obvious where the noise is and where it's trying to clean it up. So. Um, but yeah, and here's a second test, which is, is really interesting. Um, it's, it's actually a debug tool. 
um, for Unreal Engine. They have a path tracer built into it <laughs> to to debug your like hybrid lighting setup. So I've got a single point light and nothing else in a sealed room and I'll turn on the path tracer. And yeah, it's like a full on proper path tracer. Um, it's also probably just as slow as a, <laughs> if not slower than, um, you know, running something similar to this off, um, the CPU. Like, um, I definitely feel like the Arnold, Arnold renderer with this sort of setup would probably resolve faster than this. So, um, but Hey, well, you know, we're like, it's early days, isn't it? It's sort of baby steps into this technology. Um, but you can see like, you know, real reflections and stuff, um, you know, proper GI and everything. It's all been calculated off the GPU. So, you know, exciting stuff. Um, it's just early days. So I'll keep playing with this. And if there's anything interesting, I'll post back. So um, thanks for tuning in. And um, I'll have some more tutorials for you very shortly.